I've had this coffee table in my lounge for quite a while and to be honest, it drives me mad that you can see everything through it from the top. So not only can you see the legs showing right through, but also when this has got clutter all over it, so it's got keys and phones and magazines and books, it just looks really messy. So what I'm gonna do today is cover the top with a window film DC fix that's got a mini motif on it. And what I'm hoping it will achieve is stopping me from being able to sit on my sofa and look at that and think that looks so messy and I need to just tidy it all up. Just on the top, I'm not even gonna wrap it over the, over the ledge. I'm just literally going to cut round the tabletop itself. So it's a really straightforward, easy one to do. And in terms of the equipment for this, all you need is a water spray, which just helps it to adhere, so it stops it from slipping and sliding everywhere. And then scissors to trim the roll, your scalpel, and you definitely need a scalpel for this rather than just scissors, because it's got a curved edge, so that just allows you to get it right up against the, um, the edge of the glass and get a really nice clean finish on it. And then your DC Fix Smoother, which has got a felt covered side, really easy for getting out the bubbles or any little creases that you get, it just allows you to smooth it onto the table. So job number one is just to roll this back and measure it out. So I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to allow a little bit of an overhang on all of the sides and then I can trim that away with the scalpel. So the next thing to do is to spray the table with some water and you can be quite generous with this and before I did this I actually cleaned the table with a glass cleaner just because if you've got any dust or debris or dirt on the table itself it will stop the plastic from sticking fully so you just want to make sure that it's nice and clean just with a standard glass cleaner and a cloth. And now what I'm going to do is just peel back this first section. And if you fold back the backing paper, you can just fold it down and create kind of a, an edge or a lip that you can pull back on. And from there, what you want to do is just start pulling back the backing paper and then grab your smoother to stick it down onto the table. And if you just go from side to side, you can get out any air, bu air bubbles and just coming down to eye level, sometimes you can spot more that you wouldn't maybe be able to see just from where I'm sat back here. So it is just worth coming down and checking. And then you just do that for the whole length of the table. Any big bubbles or folds that you find, you can peel and re-stick. So it isn't, it's repositionable until it's um, completely in place. So now it's on the top of the table, what I'm going to do is use the scalpel and cut right into the edge of the glass so you want the blade to be flush against the edge of the table and then run that all the way around the edge just so you get a really nice neat finish. And then I like to come at it from underneath with the scalpel just so you can really push the blade up against the glass. I think from above sometimes you struggle to get such a clean cut. Okay, so that's literally it. It's a really straightforward, easy one to apply. And what I love about this is now, when I'm sat on my sofa, I won't be able to see all the mess and clutter and keys, phones, magazines and everything underneath it. And hopefully my friends will notice that I've gone to the effort of upcycling it and giving it a new lease of life. Um, but a really straightforward, easy one to do. And this was a window film and it's a self-adhesive one. 